We've had a flurry of motions filed tonight by Donald Trump's criminal defense lawyers and by Special Prosecutor Jack Smith in the newest criminal prosecution of Donald Trump in Washington, D.C. And we have a lot of new TV statements from Donald Trump's criminal defense lawyer, John Loro, who has declined our standing invitation to appear on this program, but decided to do several political chat shows this weekend. Our legal team of Andrew Weissman, Neil Katyal, and Harry Littman are here to see if they can do what I couldn't do, which is find anything in what John Loro said on television that sounds like it could be an effective legal defense in the courtroom against the charges Special Prosecutor Jack Smith has brought against Donald Trump for conspiracy to defraud the United States, conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding, obstruction of an attempt to obstruct an official proceeding. Before we get to the video of John Loro's weekend TV lawyering, the breaking news of the night is the exchange of motions in federal court in Washington, D.C. tonight with Special Prosecutor Jack Smith filing his response motion tonight, a few hours after Trump criminal defense lawyer John Loro met the 5 p.m. deadline for his team's legal filing. The argument in these motions is about what evidence in the, in the case uh, can Donald Trump and his defense lawyers make public. Special Prosecutor Jack Smith is asking for a protective order on basically all of the evidence that the prosecution hands over to the defense in the discovery process in the Trump defense is asking the judge to, quote, shield only genuinely sensitive materials from public view. The Trump defense team response acknowledges that grand jury testimony would have to remain secret and then makes suggested changes to Jack Smith's proposed protective order that might seem like small changes. Here's an example of the changes, the way they look on paper, John Loro and his team recommending to the judge uh, their, their, their changes are in red. And as you can see, most of what Jack Smith is asking for there, John Loro actually agrees with, most of it. But Jack Smith's response says that the changes that John Loro wants to make in the protective order are, quote, designed to allow him to try this case in the media rather than in the courtroom. To emphasize that point, Jack Smith notes, quote, on Sunday, August 6th, defense counsel appeared on five television programs and discussed this case in detail. Jack Smith quoted John Loro's statements on television at length, showing how eager he is to potentially make the prosecution's evidence in the case public. Jack Smith said, says such conduct has the potential to unnecessarily inflame public opinion, short of all relevant facts, intimidate witnesses, pollute the jury pool. In his motion to the judge about releasing evidence, Donald Trump's attorneys foolishly give the judge a classic Trumpian example of how Donald Trump and John Loro are willing to grotesquely manipulate evidence and language spoken by people in this case. John Loro said in writing to the judge, quote, President Biden promised from the outset that his administration would ensure President Trump does not become the next president again. That was one of the juvenile and untrue ways in his filing that John Loro was attempting to identify President Biden as the real prosecutor in this case, when in fact President Biden has had nothing to do with the case. John Loro insulted the intelligence of the judge in the case in his attempt to push the lie that President Biden is the real prosecutor of this case. John Loro deliberately and offensively to the judge left out the words, if he does run, that is what President Biden actually said. If he does run, President Biden will make sure that Donald Trump does not become the next president. If someone runs, the way you prevent them from becoming president is you beat them in the election. Here is the full context of the Joe Biden quote that John Loro mischaracterized willfully to the judge. It came at a press conference in response to a question about G7 countries expressing concern about American democracy. So the entire genesis of that G7 conversation was tied to your predecessor, who is about to launch another campaign. So how do you reassure them if that is 
the reason for their questioning that the former president will not return, that his political movement, which is still very strong, uh, will not oh, yeah. once again take power in the United <laughs> States. Well, um, we just have to demonstrate that he will not take power um, by uh, if we uh, if he does run, uh, making sure he uh, under the legitimate efforts of uh, our Constitution, does not become the next president again. If he does run, judges do not like being lied to by lawyers who deliberately leave words out of quotes in a deliberate attempt to mischaracterize evidence or grotesquely distort quotations to fuel illegitimate legal arguments. In his brief, John Loro has given the judge a perfect example of what Jack Smith accuses John Loro and Donald Trump of wanting to do with the prosecution's evidence in this case.